Welcome, welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Welcome good back. Evening, Hello. Hi. Good evening. How are you today? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How do you feel today? I'm fine. Ready to start class. Ready for your class. Great. Great. This welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Good job, guys. Let's go ahead and get settled in. So this is going to be your next module. So we're going to be looking at Intermediate Module 1. Welcome to Intermediate Module 1. How do you feel today? Feel good? Well. Excellent. Yes. Good job. All right. I would like for us to get started with some uh, introduction questions, just to get to know you a little bit. Uh, everybody, please listen and repeat. What's your name? What's your name? How old are you? How old, How old are, you? are you? Where do you live? Where do you, Where live? Do you live? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you, do you work? like to do in your free time? What do you like to do in your free time? What's your favorite kind of food? What's, What's your favorite, favorite kind, kind of food? food? What's your favorite color? What's your favorite wow. color? What's your favorite color? Why are you learning English? Why are you learning English? Do you have any pets? Do you have any pets? All right, let's me have two volunteers two volunteers that want to participate and ask the questions. Two volunteers, please. One student ask a question, another student respond to the question. Two volunteers. All right, Nuria, excellent. <laughs> All right, Luis. Good job. Okay, Nuria, ask the question and Luis, respond to the question. Okay, Maria, you're gonna go after. Nuria, okay. ask the questions. I put them in the chat. Luis, okay. respond to the questions and then vice versa. Okay. Okay, go ahead. What's your name? My name is Luis. Nice to meet you, Luis. Nice How to meet you too, you? Nuria. Next uh, question. Repeat, repeat the question, please. Nuria, he didn't hear you. How old are you? Uh, I am... 32 years old. Uh, le vamos a pedir a Martín de Jesús, ponga en silencio su micrófono. Martín de Jesús, ponga. Gracias. Continue. Oh, great. I'm 27 years old. So, where do you live? I I'm, I'm live in San Jacinto. <laughs> so we say, hey, good evening. Do we say, I am live or I live? In I live in San, San Jacinto. Jacinto. Okay, good. I live in San Jacinto is correct. Okay, and you? Where you live? Uh, where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live, Nuria? Uh, well, right now I'm living 
in lower this lower this column. Right. Well, uh, what do you like to do in your free time? Uh, I like uh, watch movie with my daughter, with my wife, um, play soccer and video game. All right, so we're gonna say I like to watch movies. Or you can say, right. I like to play video games, right? So we say to after I like, I like to. Okay. And um, what, is, what is your, what, what do you like in your free time? What do you well, like in your free time or? What do you like to you? to do in your free time, sorry. <laughs> Good job. What do you like to do in your free time? Good job. Well, so I like to watch movies too and spend uh, my time on social networks. Okay. Okay, what's your favorite kind of food? I love the pupusas and pizza. Mm. <laughs> That's, El pollo campero. I, I love pupusas too. <laughs> El pollo campero. No. So, no we don't like. I don't <laughs> like. I don't like pollo campero. Oh my God. No. It's so delicious. Because I, I work in, in the pollo campero. I so borrow. Ah, okay. I understand. Uh -huh. I love pollo campero. Mm. <laughs> okay. Um, Gloria, uh, what, what's your favorite kind of food? Pupusas too. Uh, I love pupusas. Great election. So, <laughs> what's your favorite color? My favorite color is black. Uh, in in clothes is black, but I don't have any favorite color. Okay. Uh, me too. I don't have a favorite color, so I think that I like most of them. Okay. So, what are you learning English? Why? Uh, Why? Why? Sorry, why? why are you learning English? I am I am learning English because I going to applicar. What, apply. What do you say? Apply. Apply. Uh, apply. Uh, I want a uh, uh, new work. Maybe in the future, uh, apply the visa. Maybe a, a lot of Wait, English, a lot of money, a lot of English, a lot of opportunities. We hope that <laughs> that is correct. A lot of money, <laughs> a lot of money, a lot of English, a lot of money. I want a lot of money, so that's well, why I'm learning. Well, you, you're in the you're in the right place. Yeah. Uh, so. Are you? Uh, why are you learning English, uh, Noria? Just in order to earn more money, so a better salary. That's right, another position. And do you have any pets? And no, I don't have any pets, but my daughter has a, a kitty. A cat. Oh, okay, kitty. okay uh, so in this case, you're going to say, my, do we say my daughter have or my daughter has? Has. My daughter, my daughter has a kitty. Very uh, good. Uh, my daughter has a cat. Uh, Any more? That's it. Excellent. Excellent. Luis, very good. Nodia, good job. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, now we are going to go ahead and select uh, another participant.
Go ahead, Luis. Look at your group. Select another partner. Uh, Nuria, look at your group and select another partner as well. Okay. So. I choose mm, Maria, Maria Delmi. Maria Delmi. Okay. Martin de Jesus. Martin de Jeron Jesus. Chavez. Jerón Chávez. All right. So we're going to have Maria uh, ask the questions and then Martin responds and then vice versa. Oh, oh, excuse me. I don't have the questions. Uh, the questions are in the Zoom chat and the questions are in the WhatsApp chat group. Oh. Let me send them again. Okay. Can you see them? Okay. okay. They're in the Zoom. Uh, give me a moment. They're in the WhatsApp. Um, Check it out. Uh, I don't see. Uh, they are in the Zoom chat and they are in the WhatsApp chat group. Do you have the WhatsApp um, chat group? Yeah, yeah, I, I got it. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I I start the answer. Hey, Martin, can you ask the questions, please? Okay. Hi, Maria. Good evening. Good evening. Nice to meet you. Uh, please. Uh, what's what's your your name? Your company name. Uh, my name is Maria Delmi Hernandez de Montoya. My okay. name. Thanks, Maria. How old are you, Maria? Um, very busy, but I'm well. I'm very well. No, no, no. How old are you? Uh, how old are you? How I'm... old? Okay, repeat, Martin. How old? How old, how old are you? Uh -huh. So the old is with the emphasis, how old? right? So how, it's two how questions. Are you, Maria? If you say, for uh, example, how are you? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. How old are you, right? So old, you got to hit it. You got to uh, express it with the accent. How old are you? I'm 50 years old. And... Uh, and you, how old are you, uh, Mario? Mario? Martin. 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 Sorry. I am a four years old, Maria. Okay. Uh, please, Maria, let me know where you let me le where to learn in English. Well, Oh, excuse me? Why are you learning English? I'm learning uh, for my job. For my oh, job. Uh, very good. Uh, the, um, for to teach, for teaching English. Oh, you want to be a teacher? Uh, yeah, yeah. So good. <laughs> a lot of money. Yeah. Teaching English, I, a lot of money. I, I didn't too, yeah. I like it, I like it. Okay. Thank One you. more question. One more question. Uh, Maria, let, let... Oh, excuse me. Uh, um... Uh, I will you why you uh why uh why are you learning English? Uh because I like I like English but I don't I don't uh, speak fluency the 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 I the, the, the practice you gotta practice you have to practice okay, okay. teacher practice makes perfect okay teacher. I love it I love it too English. Okay, 
Maria. Nice to meet you, Maria. Ah, nice to meet you too. <laughs> Excellent. Martin. Excellent. Martin, very good, Maria. Go ahead, uh, Martin, select one more participant and Maria, select one more participant, uh, please. Andrea, Andrea Roxana. Y Andrea Esmeralda, es, perdón, Andrea Esmeralda. Y Denis Adonai. No, usted va a elegir uno y ella va a elegir uno. Ah, ok. Andrea Esmeralda Flores. Ok, Andrea Esmeralda, please ask the question. Oh, and I should. Uh, can I, Roxana? All right. I, ok. <laughs> Good Any, evening. Uh, respond to the question. Oh, no, good can. evening, everybody. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome. How are okay. you? Thank you. Kenya, what's your name? My name is Kenya Roxana de Velasquez. Okay. Beautiful name. How old are you? Thank you. I am um, three nights. Is your own? Yes. That's correct. Okay. Where do you live? I, I live in San Salvador. Nice place. Where do you work? I um, work in... Online business. Online business. Nice. Yes. What do you do? What do you sell? Just and and share and tables. Muchas otras cosas. <laughs> nice, nice, good. I like it. I like it. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have um, a dog, a chihuahua. Oh, chihuahua. <laughs> a little, yes. little, little dog. <laughs> yes, y son bien cariñosos, y es cute. Uh, cariñosos, we say affectionate. Perfectionist. It's perfectionist. Yes. Okay. What Art. do you like to do in your free time? In my free time, learn the Bible. Yes, learn the Bible. Biblia. Bible, Bible, Biblia, Bible, Biblia, learned, Bible. I learned the Bible. Mm, only. Okay. And what is your favorite color? Mm, my favorite color is purple. Um, okay. Fuchsia. Nice. Mm, me too. Nice. <laughs> so you have two what? things in common. Okay. Why are you learning English? Um, first is my dream to to think for communication with anywhere. Si sería? Uh, to communicate. 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 To communicate anywhere. Anywhere. Uh, again, it's my dream to team uh, for communicate anywhere. Excellent. Yes. Do, do you do you have a children? Yes, 
One boy. Oh. And he he has seven years old. He is. He is seven years old. Ya, sale eso. Um, <laughs> okay, okay It's now, all teacher. Thank you. I see Andrea just got a lot of questions. Uh, Nuria asked <laughs> the questions and Andrea respond to the question. Okay, teacher. Okay. So, let me see. What's your name? Uh, my name is Andrea Esmeralda Flores Hernandez. Nice to meet you, Andrea. Thank you. So, how old are you? I'm 22 years old. 22 years old. So you are younger. So, where do you live? Yes. <laughs> I live in San Juan Talpa, La Paz. Uh, is I, I don't know, say, cerca de... Near. Uh, cerca de the airport. Near, near to the, near the airport. airport. Near the airport. Near to the, the airport. Okay. Near the beach. Near the beach, yeah. Okay, so... Near the airport. Nice. Where do you work? I don't. Um, maybe I work in bakery, but my <laughs> all of time is to study. Oh, nice. I work in a bakery too. <laughs> so cool. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I love cookies. Uh, the teacher loves yes. cookies. I, I <laughs> make cookies and um, cake. Yes. Uh, okay. Oh. I, I love quesadillas. I love the most of my time oh. is to study. Oh, nice. So maybe we can share some recipes. <laughs> and maybe you can share some cookies with me. Uh, <laughs> uh, for the teacher's day <laughs> yeah for okay. for the child for the child day to, I think tomorrow is maybe. the child day maybe huh? maybe, maybe. <laughs> oh, okay I like that I maybe like that. okay 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 I hope so what I hope do... so <laughs> <laughs> What do you like to do in your free time? I like to, to draw and paint, but I really use my time for study. I need to study a lot. Uh, and can I ask you, can I ask you, Andrea, what are you studying? Yes. Or what is your, I, what, is, uh, now what is your career? I, I study math. I study engineer, civil, civil engineer. And I need to study a lot of maths because it's more important for the career. Oh, it's to be where do you study? Presenciales. <laughs> I study in the National University. Mm, nice. Good university. So, good luck. <laughs> it's not gonna be easy. <laughs> But it's <laughs> no, it's not nothing. But you don't have to give that. So. And what's your favorite kind of food? Uh, I forgot to significate kind. <laughs> it's, it wait, wait for me. Mm. Okay. All right, thank you, thank you. Let's stop right there.
All right, guys, it's already uh, okay. time for me to uh, take the attendance. So when I call your name, I would like for you to please respond uh, present. When I call your name, please respond present. Uh, at this moment, I'm going to say your name. Please respond present. I am not looking at the screen. I'm looking at the spreadsheet with the attendance. So please say present. Andrea. Dayanara. Present. Excellent. Present. Um, Andrea Esmeralda. Present teacher. Thank you. Angel. Present. Thank you. Byron. Present teacher. Very good. Dennis. Present. Excellent. Hey, Lin. I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation. Hey, Lin. Hey, Lin. Is absent. It's I. It's Eileen. Oh, Eileen is the correct pronunciation. Eileen. Eileen is absent. Okay. Catherine. Present. Excellent. Kenya. Roxana. Thank you. Thank Kenya you. Yamilet. Kenya Yamilet is absent. Luis. I am here, teacher. Excellent. Maria. I'm here. Good job. Martin. Present. Thank you. Moises. Moises is absent. Nayeli. Nayeli. Thank you. Nuria. Present. All right. Rebecca. Present teacher. Excellent. Cindy. Here. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and uh, continue. We're gonna teacher, go. I'm sorry. Hi. When you pass the list, my computer died and it was impossible to say I'm here. Oh, okay. What is my your name? My name is Kenya Yamilet. Kenya Yamilet. There it is. Okay. Thank you, Kenya. Present. Very good. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at the next activity. Uh, for the next activity, we're going to be working from the platform. So I would like for everybody to take a look at this section where it says Intermedio Modulo Uno, a time to remember. Everybody listen and repeat, a time to remember. A time to remember. Very good. A time, a time to remember. Time to remember. A time, time, to, to, remember. Remember. time to remember. Nice. By the end of this class, you will be able to talk about your past using was, were, and various regular and irregular verbs. For example, I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English. Additionally, you will be able to ask and answer questions. 
in the past tense. This conversational English lesson will help you discuss your background in greater detail and get to know people. Past tense. Please listen to the video. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about the past using regular and irregular verbs. Additionally, you'll be able to ask and answer questions in the past. For example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English back then. Let me get started by presenting the structure. In our previous class, we discussed how to make positive and negative statements using the verb to be in the past. So we talked about the left side of this chart, as you can see there. And we also talked about making yes and no questions in the past. In today's lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to try to make sense of this whole thing together. And we're going to try to use both ways of talking about the past with the verb to be and with other verbs such as move. And so we're going to focus on creating statements either positive or negative as you can see there. Uh, that's the one that I had given earlier. I moved here 10 years ago and we're also going to talk about making negative statements in the past such as I didn't speak English then. Finally what we're going to do is we're going to make questions in the past and the whole goal here is to be able to use both ways of talking about the past, either with the verb to be, as you can see, it's slightly different, and also using the auxiliary did. Let me get started by making sense of the statements that we see towards the right side of this chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the formula real fast. In order for us to make sentences in the past, particularly positive sentences in the past, we're going to have a subject. And then that is going to be followed by a verb, the verb in its past form. And then that is going to be followed by a complement. So if I write down the example that we see on the very top, um, which says, I moved here 10 years ago. Well, we can clearly see the subject is I. I'm going to go ahead and try to color that in green. Then we can see that the verb is moved, notice that I had to change that to the past. For most verbs, we will simply add ed. That's what we call regular verbs. And for irregular verbs, um, then for those, you simply have to remember what they are. So for example, we have the verb teach, and then the past of that verb is taught. But I'll be talking about regular and irregular verbs in a different class. I also want to write down another quick example here. So I'm going to say I took English classes for a year. And then once again, what I want you to notice is what happens at the bottom. I want you to notice that we have a subject and I color that in green. And then we have some sort of verb and then that is going to be colored in red and then the complement. Um, as you can see, English classes for a year. Let me talk about making negative statements in the past now. I'm going to go ahead and write down the formula. The only difference that you're going to see from a positive statement to a negative statement is that we're going to have an auxiliary. That auxiliary is didn't. Um, so um, I and then this follows didn't. Okay. And then this follows the verb, and then whatever complement. I didn't speak English, and I'm going to say 10 years ago. So we have a subject. I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors for a little bit. This follows didn't, and then it's going to follow the verb. Now, important here, I want you to notice that in this case, this verb does not change to the past. Okay. So the verb in the negative statements will remain in the present tense. It will not change to the past. That's very important. And that's because this auxiliary verb causes this verb to not change to the past. I didn't speak English 10 years ago.
The last thing that I want to talk about in this class is how to form questions in the past. And particularly, we're going to focus on forming questions using did. Let's try to make sense of that first question that you see there. When did you move to Los Angeles? Well, first of all, in order to form questions, sometimes we're going to have WH questions and sometimes we're going to have yes and no questions. And I'll explain the quick difference in a second. Whenever we have a WH question, I'm going to start with that first one there. What we do is we have a WH word, such as in this case is when. This follows the auxiliary did. This will follow a subject. And this follows the verb in the present. The verb does not change to the past. When did you move to Los Angeles? So again, very important. We're going to have some sort of WH word that follows auxiliary did. And then it's going to follow the subject. After that, you'll see the verb in its present form. It does not change to the past. And finally, we'll include some sort of complement. And we follow the same pattern in the second question that you see there. With the only difference now is that we don't have a WH word. And that's because this is a yes or no question. So the yes or no question starts with did you and the verb in its present form take. The complement is English classes in Argentina. There we go. It all depends on what kind of question you have. So WH words, we mentioned that we want to elicit information from the person. In a yes or no question, we simply want to receive a response such as uh, yes or no. So the example on how to answer a yes or no question, then you'll see it there. Yes, I did or no, I didn't. That's how you create a short response for that kind of question. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer some questions, which I will post in one moment. But before that, what I would like for you to understand is that we can form the past tense by either using was or where, or by using other verbs that are not the verb to be. So whenever you are going to use another verb that is not the verb to be, then we're going to think about the structure towards the right. It's important not to get confused. And so therefore, I would like for you to answer the following questions. As you can see, sometimes I will use did, and sometimes I will use the verb to be. And the reason that I use did in my questions is because I'm using another verb that is not the verb to be. So that's what I want you to notice. Okay, let's look at the examples on the following activity. And we are going to be looking at the knowledge check. Choose the best response to this question. Did she play soccer in high school? So at this moment, what I would like for you to do is we are going to work in pairs and I would like for you to share your answers. Work in pairs and share your answers on the platform. Are you ready? Let's go. Share your answers for this exercise. You can share your screen, one participant can share your screen. Do you have the exercise? Uh, the exercise is to make three, three questions when the use the the la forma que nos dieron en el video oh, okay yeah um, 
Hola, hola. Este, lo, las que están en la plataforma son las que vamos a responder. Es que en un principio eso entendí, pero no sé. Uh, ah, yo entendí otra cosa. <risa> ya, porque no está, no lo dije bien. Porque yo, yo entendí que, que teníamos que hacer unas, pre, unas preguntas con la forma que nos dieron en el, en el video. Que era... Ay, ay, no fue. Este, y que esas las teníamos que compartir en el, en el chat. Ah, eh, la, entonces, la fórmula... La... Preguntas, yo... íbamos a... Yo entendí que eso, o oh, no sé si era más que mandaron al cuerpo. Mm. Ah, pues no, sí son, es contestar y enviarlas al club. Creo. Eso, en equipo podemos intentar resolverlo. A ver, hablamos, abramos la plataforma entonces. Yo puedo compartir pantalla para que vean la mía y después solo lo pasan a la historia. No sé si es sí, okay. está bien. Sí. Creo que son estas. Uh -huh. Ok. Yes, she plays soccer in high school. Yes. La mejor forma de responder esta pregunta. No, she didn't play your soccer in high school. No, she didn't play. La segunda. Sería la segunda. Mhm. ¿no? Uh -huh. La segunda. Uh -huh. right. La segunda serie. Y la de sigue. When did you graduate from college? Yo creo que es la tercera. I did graduate When did you away from college? When? ¿Dónde? Mm, no, graduate. creo que es la segunda porque el did en, en o sea el did se utiliza en las preguntas y en en, la en las oraciones negativas ajá pero ah. en, negativas. en las afirmativas no entonces sí va la segunda ajá sí. porque uh -huh. está uh -huh. y el verbo está en pasado uh -huh. y en esta en la primera no sería la primera porque el verbo play está en pasado también exacto no. No, Entonces, porque no, no. Cuando, va, cuando está el did, el didn't ya le da el sentido ah, no. de pasado sí, a la oración. Uh -huh. Ajá, sí, es cierto, ya, ya recordé. Dice, shows the best question to me. Ay, voy a great, great. Ay, no sé cómo se pronuncia eso. <risa> ¿Qué significa wear up? Great. Crecer como... Ah. como Sí, crecer, algo así. No sé cómo traducirlo. Como que pero... nació. Es como, como, como ¿Dónde, esa. ¿Dónde creciste? Ajá. 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 Where, where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? Ajá, dice, yo crecí en Houston, Texas. Uh -huh. La segunda sería también, ¿verdad? Mm, creo que es la primera. Ah, ¿Por sí, qué? porque está el Por grow el está pasado. Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí. Ok. La cuatro y la cinco. I begin to study. 
La, la segunda no sería porque no. no, no, no. When were el where? La tercera. Hola. ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde? Ajá. Porque estoy preguntando dónde va. El where sería. Sí. Uh -huh. No. No, pero es que la, la, prim, la, la primera tiene el verbo en. Es eh. que la, la, la última dice where, dónde, y las otras es cuándo. Y él y le está contestando que hace dos, dos años. O sea, se, o sea, sería la primera o la segunda. Pero okay. mmm, yo creo que la primera. Porque lleva el did. Ajá. Y la segunda you, no. You, no, en, en la segunda you. porque no lleva el did. Uh -huh, Ajá. Uh -huh. Y la última porque dice don. don uh -huh. okay. Did you have it when you were a child? Ah, no sería la segunda. Ah, oh, no, I didn't have a pet. Ah, pero. No, porque sería didn't. No, no I did. O sea, no, I didn't. Uh -huh. No, no creo que sea eso. Mm. Yes, I did. Pero no sé qué opinan ustedes. No, ajá, yes, I did. La, la última. Ajá. Sí, porque es cierto, yo, yo entendí por qué la segunda no, porque yo solo te dice no. Ajá. Tendría que estar el GIS en, en negativo. Vale, voy a enviar a ver si no, no fue bien. Uh -huh. Ah, todos están buenos. Ay, no fue bien. Con todos. <ríe> okay. la, ¿Les mando captura al grupo? No, no sé. Por favor, sí, al grupo mándela al, al de WhatsApp. No, creo que no. no. Yo Pero... creo que, no sé, como que cuando regresemos a la principal, como que vamos a compartir las respuestas, algo así. Ah. Ok. Ah, pero ya, ya, ahí se pueden ver. Y un solo para que la resuelvan en sus... En sus... All right. Is everybody finished? Yes. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. Let's go ahead and check. Let me have one volunteer. Give me the answers for number one. One volunteer, number one, please. One volunteer, number one, please. One volunteer, number one, please. Hi, teacher. Hey, what's the first one? Number one, Rebecca. Um, number two, Nuria. Number three, Martin. Number four, Luis. Okay, number one, choose the best response to the question, did she play soccer in high school? I respond, no, she didn't play soccer in high school, she played basketball. Excellent. So we say A, B, or C? B. No, she didn't play soccer in high school. She played basketball. Excellent. All right. Number two. Number two. Nuria. Nuria. Here's the best response to these questions. When do you graduate from college? A, I graduated from college in 2005. Or B, I graduated from college in 2005. Number C, I did graduate from college in 2005. The answer is B. B, 
Excellent. I graduated from college in 2005. All right. Number three. Who's next? Number three. I grew up in Houston, Texas. The answer is, is no, number A. Where did you grow up? Where did you grow up is A. Where did you grow up is A. Good job. Number four. Number four. Sorry. All right. Uh, choose the best question to match this response. I began to study English two years ago. The, study or study? Sta, study. Study English two years right. ago. Sta, study. Uh, the question is, when did you begin behind to study English? When did you? When did you begin to study English? All right, A, very good. When did you begin to study English is the first one. A, number one, when did you begin to study English? Number five. Number five. Cindy, number five. Cindy. Okay, choose the best response to this question. Did you have a pet when you were a child? And the answer is the letter C. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Letter C. Yes, I did. Good, good. Perfect. All right. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the next section, which is going to be simple past statements. Simple past statements. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to make positive and negative statements using the bird to be. Additionally, you'll be able to make statements such as I was born in China. I wasn't born in the United States. Let me get started by quickly explaining this chart. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about this chart and we're going to quickly focus on the left side of this chart. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to make positive statements such as I was born in Argentina and how to make negative statements such as I wasn't born in, let's say, Mexico. The first thing that I would like to explain regarding this topic is one basic rule, and that's the verb to be. So let me, uh, let me get to that. What I want to do is explain the following concept, and that is that the verb to be will change depending on the pronoun that you use. For instance, whenever you use the pronouns I, he, she, or it. The verb to be that we're going to have to use for positive sentences is was. And whenever we make a negative sentence, then we're going to have to use wasn't. So if we look at our example here at the top, I was born in Argentina. Um, if I use another pronoun, let's say that I use the pronoun he, then I will say he was born in Argentina. If I were to use the pronoun she, then I would say she was born in Argentina. And obviously the same thing whenever we make a positive or negative sentence uh, with the um, other um, pronouns. So if I were to talk about we, then we will say something like we were born in Argentina. Um, you were born in Argentina. They were born in Argentina. Uh, so let me quickly explain, uh, you know, what the structure looks like. So in order to do that, we're going to have a subject plus uh, the bird to be in the past, and then we're going to have some sort of complement. So the example is, um, I was born in Argentina, okay. and then what I want to say is, I also want to give a negative statement, so I want to say, I wasn't born in uh, China. 
this is the uh, first example that I gave you at the beginning um, and what I want to do at this time I just want to quickly color that I'm going to color the subject in red and I would like to color uh, the verb in green and then the complement I'm just going to go ahead and color that in a different color it could be any color the only thing that I want you to notice is that uh, we have a subject at the beginning that follows the verb to be and then that follows some sort of complement in order for us to make the positive statements or the negative statements so I mentioned that um, the subject we can change that to any subject that we would like so for example he, we could say he was born in Argentina um, we could say she was born in Argentina and also I quickly want you to learn that you may also use names here so for example you may say Peter was born in Argentina right uh, Mary was born in Argentina and so on and so forth uh, and of course if we want to make negative statements then we would say something like this uh, he wasn't born in Ar in China right I was born in Argentina I wasn't born in China whenever we change this subject now we use you so therefore we're going to have to use the verb to be where and in our negative statements that would be weren't so uh, you were born in Argentina and of course we can say you and this will be in its negative form so this will be you weren't born in China so what I would like for you to do now is to tell me in what part of the world were you born and I want you to give me positive statements and negative statements about yourself so for instance let's say that you were born in Brazil well then you will tell me something like I was born in Brazil and obviously because you were born in Brazil you weren't born in Argentina so your statement could be I was born in Brazil I wasn't born in Argentina um, and I know there are students from different parts of the world so maybe your statement could be I was born in China I wasn't born in Japan and perhaps your parents were born in France so my parents were born in France and I want you to make a negative statement with that so they weren't born in let's say Spain All right, let me have one volunteer give me one example using was. One volunteer give me one example using was. All right, uh, we have Luis and we have Nuria. Please. Okay. Distance. Okay. <laughs> uh, is a question. Correct. Or negative and positive. You can say, for example, uh, I was born in El Salvador. I was not born in Canada, for example. Okay. Uh, with what? With Okay, let me let's have uh, Martin. Martin, you raise your hand. Go ahead. Uh, uh, I was born. I was working in Garden. Sorry, I I don't listen. But that's okay. His internet is slow. That's all right. Go ahead, Nuria. Uh, I wasn't working in. Excellent, excellent, Martin. Thank you, Martin. Go ahead, Nuria. I was in New York the last year. I was in New York the last year. <laughs> okay, all right. You can say it like that. I was in New York last year. I wasn't in New York last year. Good job. All right, guys, time's up. We're going to go ahead and stop right here. I hope it's been very nice to meet all of you. I hope that you have enjoyed your class.
and we will see you again tomorrow. Remember that you can continue working on the platform. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you for your participation. Thank you. Bye-bye.